Georgia's own Justice Clarence Thomas. Thank you. It's a singular honor to be a part of this ceremony today and to be here with each of you this morning and to be a part of the dedication of the Nathan Deal Judicial Center. It embodies the ideals of our courts, as well as Governor Deal's deeply personal commitment to criminal justice reform and to this great state. It is still just a building, but buildings uh, signify things. They are representations of the values that we as a people place on certain elements of our lives. This building, hopefully, will be regarded as a symbol that Georgia is a state that believes in part of its motto being justice. We seek your peace, your grace, your mercy, and your perfect order as we gather in the midst of the wings and winds of justice. Judges sometimes substitute what the law requires with what they desire and their desired outcomes in particular cases. Those outcomes may be driven by the judge's desire to solve what he or she considers to be a problem created by the legislature. Or it may be driven by the notion that judges must decide cases in accordance with their own racial, religious, or partisan preferences, or for that matter, their personal prejudices. God bless America. My home, sweet home. When judges do not base their decisions on neutral principles, these detrimental policies, with their judicial blessing, often persist for far longer than they otherwise would have. The U.S. Supreme Court's opinions on racial segregation provide an apt example. After all, it was not too long ago that Georgia courthouses like this one were segregated. I fully believe that one reason segregation endured was due not only to prejudices and a lack of understanding, but also to a lack of courage among those who knew or should have known better especially in the, in the judicial branch of government. And may God bless the great state of Georgia.